Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Scottsburg Board of Public Works and Safety. Today is May the 22nd, 2024, and we're gathered here at City Council Chambers in Scottsburg. We'll call our meeting to order, and we begin by our roll call by our, our Clerk Treasurer Jan Hart. Mayor Amy. Here. Karen Grucius. Here. Tom Lewis. Here. Thank you, Ms. Hardy. First thing on our agenda, our second thing on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of both May 8th and May 13th, 2024. You've had a chance to read those. Entertain a motion to. I make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Karen Grucius makes a motion to approve. Tom Lewis seconds. Any questions, concerns? Carmen, I'll say aye. 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 Unanimous, thank you. Going to new business, we have a hearing today on 143 North Chippeway Lane. And we have our new code enforcement officer, uh, Ryan Longsbury, and we have Bobby uh, Wilson here. And Bobby is going to sit in for Brian as he is new and tell us all about uh, uh, just you on that. the hearing here. Okay. Bobby, if you'll go forward. Yes, uh, April 30th, uh, Josh Dayton sent a order for a nuisance property at 143 Chippeway, and uh, I served that notice. Nobody was at the, you know at the property at the time, so I stuck it to the door, took a picture of it for our records. Uh, the notice was to you know get the property in order, clean it up, mow the grass, uh, get it in presentable order. Uh, since that time, I went back yesterday, which was May 21st. Uh, the grass has been mowed one time since April 30th, and that was according to neighbors that I had spoken with in the neighborhood. Uh, none of the other issues have been resolved at this point. So uh, Josh has asked that we approve a continuous enforcement order on this property to try to get some more work done. What is a continuous order? Just continues. Yes, it's a continuous and we until, we, and, until we stop it. Yeah, we yeah we have the up until it's in compliance. So that's this piece of yes. Paper. This is just describing. That. Yes, that's describing what the issues were. That's it. That's the notice that I left on the door. A copy of. Yeah, I make a motion that we approve this continuous enforcement. Let's make a motion, Karen Grisham. Second, she has questions, concerns here. One of the things that this has just to make um, Board of Works aware is that with the grass getting so high, and many times it, many of these homes will have uh, trash bags around, the neighbor here has a, has a picture he sent to me. He's holding a snake up as tall as he is. And they were eating mice, so he's been having a lot of mice. Yeah. So this is this is a dangerous thing for our community. So thank you very much, because typically once we see that they're not going, they know that they know that we have a, an eight ordinance of eight inches or higher. That'd be motor. We're going to take care of them. So that's what this is. I noticed in here there's a. Yes, there is a fine. I'm not certain of the approximate amount, but there is uh, a fine we are able to impose. Okay. And that's at a monthly or what is I believe that is, uh, could be down to a daily if possible. A daily fine? Yeah, there is. Yeah. It's each occurrence they can find for it. Is. Okay. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Lauren, you're sending a bill when yes. we mold this? Oh, I, our office does not send a bill with them, but I'm We have sorry. not mowed the property. What? We have not mowed their property. Right, right. We, should we start? Yes, we sure. Yes. That was once. Then we will mow it. Yeah, the property was last time was mowed. Jan's shots. office mows, okay. or Jan's office bills for the money. We agree. Well, we record it once it comes to mind. Yeah. So we need to put that on your, our list. So it says assess the civil penalty of five, up to $5,000. Doesn't a time okay. frame for that. Is that a one time? That's something we'll have to talk with Josh on a little more. And then it says assess cost of enforcement. So I guess that's a pretty hard to ask to charge him. Yeah, that's the charge of the gas, the person, the, the wear and tear. It's, it's quite substantial. We have a red 
motion that tells us how to bill. Yeah. Okay. And typically, we, we then do send the bill. Is that correct? If they don't send, if they don't pay, then it goes on to their on to their taxes. Is that, is that we can get a lien on the property. Yeah, because it's not paid. Yeah. Okay. It's to their advantage to fix it. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> correct. Because it usually costs around five hundred dollars if the city's to mobile them. Five hundred dollars to mobile. And we do have multiple yeah. properties, so we're going to be coming to you more. Yes, exactly. Five hundred dollars a time, or clean paint, slamming things up. It's, it's going to be a whole lot cheaper. To, you know, yeah, we're not in the mowing business. We're not the mowing. We had somebody say something about well, you did weedy too. And I was like, five hundred dollars a day. We have a motion and a second. Any other questions or concerns? Bring that over. Say aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you very much. Next on our agenda this today is the, an, another such one. Is a 284 West Old Valley as well? Yeah, this was uh, served on April 29th. Again, no contact at the door. I left it on the door, took a picture for our records at the. It was, and it's also sent certified through the mail, so they got a copy that way as well. Uh, this one was uh, brought to us by Chief Harden. Uh, he has been receiving several complaints through the police department of just debris and not being taken care of. There was a trailer, a flat trailer full of trash in the back, on the, in the driveway. And uh, so when we left this, as of yesterday, I went back through and uh, the trailer had been cleaned off, but there was now another six bag on top of the trailer. So it's kind of a recurring issue with that as well. I don't know, Chief, have you got any more calls on it? No, we haven't any more since you know, the, the issue with it. Part of it, yeah, they have they have made a little progress and clean, but like I said, it's going back to the trailer again. So this is another one that Josh asked that we proceed with a continuous enforcement order on. The same, that's right. same, the same thing, yes, sir. I'll make a motion to approve this continuous enforcement order. Two eight four West Dallas. Mm -hmm. Let's make a motion for two eight four West Dallas. Second by by Karen Grishes. Uh, you know, the cops wish us kind of concerns. Let me say this on this one. This, I was over there as well, and, and not only are, where there are massive bags, and I have the houses with massive bags, but just like here, because we have accessible stickers, they don't put a sticker on it, and it's just hanging out there. And what ends up happening as well, is not just the mice, but these, these critters are getting into it, cats, dogs, skunks, raccoons, possums, and, and it's just continuing then to degrade our city. And uh, you know, so thank you very much. So any other questions about this? Hearing none, all here say aye. 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 Unanimous, thank you very much. Next we have on our agenda today is the HR update brought to you by the one and only Emily Kelly. I might have three new hires. Um, first I have um, for the broadband installer position, Eric Eskew, his start date will be 6-10-2024. And then I have um, for the parks caretaker intern, Katie Clancy, her start date will be 5-28-2024. And then for um, the mayor intern position, I have Braylon Kleehammer, and his start date will be 5-28-2024. So, you're going to give us a copy? Yes, of and I'll give all that to, to Jan. Um, and then I'm just asking for approval on those. I'll just group them all together. The broadband installer will be with a $50 or $100 cell phone stipend? Yes, they get a $100 cell phone stipend and they get a prorated clothing allowance. Thank you. The interns do not. The right. interns do not. They're just part time. Okay. Slash season for the summer, yes. Make a motion to approve these three. Tell us make a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, I wish a second set. Any questions about any of these? Okay, so here now on the CI. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, the next thing is our claim approval. Thank uh, you, by Jan. Huh? Just be open to a motion to approve the claims as presented. I'll make a motion to approve. Thank you. 
Okay, and Gracious makes the motion to approve the claims. Tom Lewis seconds that. Are there any questions about these claims? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, great. Next, we have announcements. What do we have to announce this, this fine day? Mayberry is coming to town. June weekend of the June 21st and 22nd. June 21 and 22nd. Mm -hmm. June 21 and 22nd. <coughs> Write it down in your calendars. You may see uh, Dixie May, Barney, Andy, uh, the whole group here. The, uh, uh, the band playing, that's always fun. Um, I believe does the uh, opening here for the band. Is that this? That was last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had it on Sunday. Yeah. 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 So, uh, uh, what are the weather announcements do we have? Splash Park, Saturday. Splash Park opens Memorial Day? Saturday. 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 The day before Memorial Day. Two days before Memorial Day. You're amazing. Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was this Saturday, folks. So if you're kiddos, they love to get, they love to, Spitter and splatter, so please bring them down to the uh, Lizzie Graham Park. The water will be turned on, and so will the fun. And, uh, yeah. Chief, you have anything? No, sir. Okay. Anybody else? Have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Thank you.